We weren't supposed to find this. Bye, Daily Dose of Internet. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. I'm ready. Some type of military object washed up on a California beach, and these government workers don't want us to see it. No, you can't do that. Yes, I can. It's a public beach, dude. It's a public beach! I understand it's a public beach, and I can't stop you, but now I have to explain it to my boss. What? That I'm taking a video? Look, all I'm saying, if some random comes up to me and says, oh, I'm a government employee, you're going to have to show me some ID. There are no shortage of jokers, no shortage of people that would just be like, oh, well, I'm a government employee, right? I don't know what this is. I, I, I actually have no idea what this is. It could be a mini reactor. It could be a torpedo. I don't know what this is. As someone who is a civilian and isn't aware of these protocols, these situations, I mean, it's weird that it's just like, come on, now i got to explain it to my boss. Why don't you have personnel out there removing people? Also, And that, I, I guess... If it is truly a government representative, right, that does technically override it being public land and a public beach for that time, right? Especially if it's a danger to everyone else, right? So say that it was a torpedo, right? And say it was still live and active, right? I mean, would you not have people clearing people out of the vicinity? And that's what kind of debunks that for me is it's like, I don't know what this is. Probably some just like either test equipment, something like that. But they don't really seem that hurried to get someone else out of there they're also not in any professional attire oh but they could be undercover they could just be in civilian dress right not to cause a stir well I, I don't know to me i feel like that's not really being cognizant of the situation and especially if this is something that is live like a torpedo it is putting people in harm's way this dad was teaching his son how to drive uh-huh slow down slow down slow down break break especially oh i love it <laughs> It's <laughs> behind the police, too. What were you doing? I I've definitely had my parents do that. But to be fair, I also used to drive, like, delivery food. So I kind of zoom. <laughs> Obviously, I obey the speed limit, right? But I, I will zoom in ways that they don't and take corners in ways that they don't. And it freaks them out every single time they've driven with me. And they just they tense up. They just start kicking the floor. <laughs> it's so good. And that's a very, like, actual logical reaction. Seal? Blech. Yeah. How is something sense. like this even humanly possible? Nope. My fingers are hurting. My fingers are already hurting looking at this. That band is truly built different. Well, I got a silver tooth. My daddy has a gold tooth. Nice. Wow, gold tooth? My dad has a gold tooth. Look. My dad has diabetes. <laughs> Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Oh, you have to understand kids just don't have that cognizance. They don't they don't have that understanding, though. And especially when they're wanting to share aspects. Oh, well, her dad has a golden tooth. What does my dad have? Oh, he says he. Oh, no, dude. Yeah, she just wants to be included. Like, that's. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's rough. Don't do it. <laughs> this hippo chased up. <laughs> what, what it looks like to run that one with your buddy. Wow. This hippo chased down a boat and broke its motor. No, 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 that's a no-go. No, get out of there. Look, that boat, that boat is the hippos now. Oh, look at the hippo. It's so cute. And like, you know, because people see like what Fiona, the hippo from, uh, I can't remember what zoo it was. Right? No, no, you don't understand. <laughs> hippos are, are actually built different. Hippos are full of spite and anger. And when they, when, when you're in their sights, like, like soldier 76, I've got you in my sights. You, you better pray that you're not in their sights. Like, you've already, uh, you're already about to meet whatever providence you believe in. Like, whoa, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't hippos cause more, like, fatalities a year than sharks, like, easily? I, I, it, it, sharks always get this bad rep, but it's, you're in the shark's habitat. You're in the area of it. It's getting confused because your watch looks like fish scales or you look like you're a turtle on your board, right? 
it's just very confused and you're in its area. Meanwhile, hippos, you walked wrong in front of me. I'm going to get you. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, do not mess with hippos. Oh no, not the tree! Oh, that, that's, that's the roof. Oh, that's rough. A few Damn. days ago, a tornado destroyed a building in Nebraska, and somehow there were no serious injuries. Man, I- What, what was the Family Guy skit? Damn nature, you scary? Tornadoes built different. Sure love my 2015 Nissan Armada, you know? Right. It's got such amenities as, you know, the sunglass holder. Uh -huh. And the sunglass holder. This holder. And the sunglass holder. <laughs> and the sunglass holder. <laughs> and the sunglasses holder. I think, aren't some of those for mini monitors, though? Like, for mini monitors of, uh, like, like, portable DB player, stuff like that. I love that, though. That's great. Oh, please don't. Don't, don't burst the read. They're going to do it. Yeah. yeah. One of my subscribers took compressed air and shoved it into their faucet and found out that it freezes the water. It, yeah? So when you use compressed air, right? Does it does the can not get cold? Like logically this makes sense. I don't know. It's just one of those things that like this is so like yeah, I guess that makes sense and simple to me. But these get viral amounts of views, and people are like, no way. I I just, yeah, this makes sense. Sure. But why would you do it? Hope that you could probably damage them. Ha, 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 I love it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> love it. That's the true Chad Mobile. <laughs> that is the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Rapid decompression makes things colder. Right, no, I mean, the concept makes sense. Like, especially because the can gets that precipitate on it. It just gets cold. Like, I, I totally could see that. But my concern, especially because, remember, what happens when water freezes, right? Isn't water actually really unique in, in the property that when it freezes it expands and it gets less dense, right? That's why ice floats, right? That's why you got glaciers, ice caps, etc. Well, they're going away now, but I mean, you get what I'm saying, right? Or I can put ice cubes in water, right? And they float because they're less dense. Normally, when you freeze something, as far as I'm aware in science, they usually get more dense and that's why they'll sink, right? So if you were to say freeze neon, would neon not sink in other neon? That's obviously... There's many people who are science savvy in ways that I am not. <laughs> I could fill you in on that. But what I can say is you freeze the water, the water expands. My concern at that point is you could potentially harm your pipe, harm that tap, because if you're freezing that water and it expands, it could break something, crack something, etc. right? Frozen pipes are a very real thing to deal with. So once again, hey, cool, this makes sense. Why would you do that, though? Why would you do this? This feels like this could just go wrong, and now you're out a lot of money. But, I mean, I guess that's me, though. What was your favorite clip from today? <laughs> Are tornadoes, in fact, just that different? Just that terrifying? Never had to deal with it. I've always lived on the West Coast, that kind of thing. Obviously in Idaho now, but, you know, up West Coast, Northwestern, right? That kind of thing. Um... Let me know uh, if you have anything you'd like to add to this. I am going through my comments as much as I can. Thank you all for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. Oh, I guess somebody said that there's some sort of etiquette with reacting to Daily Dose of Internet that I'm supposed to do. And I saw it in passing somewhere, and I don't remember where it's at. So if you know what I'm talking about or if you know what the etiquette is, I definitely would like to fix this. And you know, going out from this batch, I would like to definitely address that because I want to make sure I'm being the most proper and correct that I can. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one.